Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leaders today are Lauren Galloway and Brandon Lowe, pupils of, of Mutie High School, Glenrothes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brandon and this is Lauren. We are students from a community high school in Fife. In September, we participated in the Holocaust Educational Trust's Lessons from Auschwitz project with 200 Scottish students. We were honoured to meet survivor Ziggy Shipper, the most inspiring man I have ever met. Having survived Lord's Ghetto, Auschwitz and the Death March, Ziggy came to Britain as a teenager in 1947. For a man who had experienced such indescribable horrors, he was surprisingly at peace. As he spoke, the room fell silent. I had never felt so moved, yet disappointed at my own naivety. I didn't know about the children who were forced to grow up so quickly. I hadn't considered the physical suffering they had endured. I hadn't thought about what it really meant to have survived the Holocaust. Ziggy's words became all too real when we visited Auschwitz. Auschwitz was where Ziggy had faced some of the hardest times of his life, as well as witnessing the reality of a death camp. I remember seeing someone's keys on display. Someone had picked up those keys expecting to return home at the end of their journey, not knowing they were locking the door to their home for the very last time. They didn't know they were headed to their death. This was the most upsetting realisation I had during the entire experience. I remembered Ziggy's words, we cannot forget. How do you make sense of what happened when you're standing at Auschwitz, seeing a heartbreaking display of baby clothes? We were able to leave Auschwitz that day we would make the return journey that 1.1 million people could not. We would use our keys to get back into our home and be greeted by our family. We were there at Auschwitz, free. We looked around at birds flying overhead. Foxes could be seen running through the barracks that prisoners slept in. The grass was as green as ever. Life did not stop because of the Holocaust. We decided then that we wanted this experience to mean something. The theme of Holocaust Memorial Day 2016 is don't stand by. I will not stand by as the Holocaust is forgotten. I will not stand by as people forget the anti-Semitism, intolerance and prejudice that led people like Ziggy to be sent places like Auschwitz. And I will not stand by and allow that hatred to repeat itself. I encourage people around Scotland to join me in pledging to do the same. Thank you. <laughs> 